Hey guys, it's Danielle with Danielle Gets It Done and I have another day in the life with a newborn for you. I do a fun little haul in this video. Phil was home on this day. He did some yard work and our yard went from looking like this to this and it is April. I hope you enjoy this vlog. It is a Wednesday today. I think this will be up exactly a week later and Philip's home from work today so maybe you'll get to see him a little bit today. He is living his best life and cutting down some branches in our backyard. He's obsessed with like tree cutting and branch cutting. It's one of his things. It's really weird. He has all this gear and books about it and he says if I ever needed a career change I would be a tree cutter. I don't know if that's what they're called but whatever floats your boat, right? <laughs> I'm starving. I'm so hungry. I just need something quick. So I think I'm going to cut up some apples and dip them in peanut butter. It's 10 o'clock, 10.15, and I haven't eaten anything today. Norma is out in her snoo. We went for a walk this morning to take James to the bus, and she is out. And I'm going to try to call my nail place and get my nails done today, get an appointment. And I think this will be the first time leaving Norma for more than like five, 10 minutes. I've run to Starbucks without her twice, I think. But yeah, since Phil's home, I think I'll just leave her with him and then it won't be so stressful to get my nails done with her because she might start screaming. So that is all I have planned so far today. Yesterday, Norma and I took a day trip to La Crosse, Wisconsin to visit my brother-in-law and sister-in-law. And if you ever have the chance to go to La Crosse, Wisconsin, I highly recommend it. It was such a cute town. It's really fun. But anyways, we had a blast. She was really good in the car on both ways. It was a two and a half hour drive and both times she made it until like the last 20 minutes and was just done and I needed to stop and nurse and change her, but really good and we just had such a fun time. They have a zero waste store there that we went to. My in-laws are really into zero waste and I'm, I think I'm pretty into it. I cloth diaper and stuff. So I wanted to show you what I got. These are called Bees Wrap. I've had these before and I needed some more. I really like them so I can vouch for them. And what it is, is you use it instead of Saran Wrap on your food. I will link everything I can below. Oh, I got big ones. So I got three of these. They come in different sizes and there's beeswax on here and some other stuff and it becomes really foldable and malleable, is that a word, with uh, your body heat. So you just kind of rub it and you can kind of put it over a bowl or you could even wrap an apple in here and then put it in your fridge. This isn't necessarily zero waste but I got these crinkly papers for Norma. I'm going to add them to her Easter basket. I did a video on her Easter basket, um, but babies love this stuff. Let me know if you agree, and it's double-sided, forest friends on the back, which we love, and then same on the front, but the front is black and white, and I was reading in her development right now that babies at her age are really into seeing the contrast of black and white. And so I thought this would be good. I don't think she'll be into like the crinkly feeling right now, but she can look at this contrast right now. I downloaded the Wonder Weeks app and what it does is it just tells you what they're doing development wise for that week. And then it kind of tells you when to expect a hard week because when they're going through a leap and learning new things, they're oftentimes fussy and need to eat a little bit more and maybe just harder to calm down and so it's just kind of nice to know a what they're doing in their little brain and then b to know that it might be a little bit of a more difficult week and it's just nice to know the reason why i got a pair of thinks <laughs> the underwear that you can wear when you have your period i mean i feel like everyone knows about thinks they have an awesome marketing campaign so i've been wanting to try these forever and they were just right in front of me and so i went for it so i will let you know i do use a menstrual cup for that issue 
and I've always wanted sinks for like the light days and for like a backup. I got another one of these for our cloth diapers. I love these. This is probably my third of this exact brand. It's by Planetwise, which is an awesome company. And I just love this pattern. It was actually the only one they had and I'm in love with it. These we use for our cloth diapering, but you could use them for laundry bags or I even use them for gym bags for myself. There are two pockets. This front one is where you put all the clean diapers, the clean clothes, anything that's clean. And then the back pocket is lined. I think this material is called PUL. And this is where you put the dirty diapers, the dirty clothes, the dirty gym outfit. And it kind of keeps the smell and moisture away from the clean clothes. And then when you get home, you just put everything in your laundry, turn this inside out, and you wash this with your laundry as well. Lastly, I got this. I don't even remember what this is called, so I'm gonna have to find out and put a text, but I really like to burn sage, and this is kind of like that, or kind of like an incense. Oh, that was a good find. I'm gonna get more of those. Another quick thing I will tell you, since I'm just sitting here and have some time, is Norma's weight. So in my last vlog, I had said they were a little worried that her weight gain had slowed down. They wanted me to supplement with breast milk. I pushed back because I just, in my heart, didn't feel like there was a real issue. And I hate pumping. And it just seemed like a lot of work. And this is not the easiest stage already to be a mother. And I didn't really want to add something on my plate. So instead, I said can I just come back in a week and we'll do another weight check and if there's an issue, then I'll commit to this pumping. My doctor was totally cool with that plan. So we went back and she gained a lot more. She is still a little bit down percentage wise from when she was like two weeks old, but she went up from last time quite a bit. I think she's like 40th percentile now. She's not tiny, she's a fine weight, but they were just concerned that the rate had slowed down. So my doctor was really happy with that. She wants to see at least her holding at that percentile, but we don't have to come back until our next scheduled appointment, which is two months. And I'm just confident it's gonna be okay. And it just goes to show you should trust your mommy intuitions. Like if you wanna pump and supplement, that's fine. I could have done it, it wouldn't have hurt her, but I just didn't want to mess with that effort. Let me know if you despise pumping in the comments below. I don't know, some people are so good at it and like like to get a supply in their freezer and I just don't. <laughs> I find it to be a really horrible chore. I don't know, let me know. Last quick update, it is going to snow today. It is April 10th, I think, and this past week has been beautiful. It almost got up to 70. It's been amazing. And not only is it going to snow today, I have heard anywhere up to like a foot of snow. Like this is gonna be a, an event. And I haven't looked at it today because they keep changing their forecast, but I think it's gonna start in a couple hours. So you'll get to see if it really turns out to be a big deal or not. All right, I just worked on some laundry and dishes and my manicurist can get me in at noon, so I have to leave soon because it's 11.30, but I'm gonna go to Starbucks. I have a gift card on this new app to me called Drop. Tiffany Beeston talks about this all the time and I finally downloaded it. I will link something for you below. I think you'll get five dollars or something you get points for a bunch of different stores and it's a bunch of stores that i always shop at like target and chipotle and starbucks and i already have ten dollars at starbucks so i'm gonna get a coconut latte and get my nails done she didn't wake up in time for me to feed her so phil will just give her a bottle and i'll pump when i get home have you guys noticed that the haka lies about how many ounces this was supposed to be at six ounces and it's just above four let me know if you have that issue as well. Raise your hand if you hate pumping. <laughs> I got a nice spring colored manicure because, and it's supposed to be 50 mile per hour wind gusts, so that's fun. <laughs>
gosh. Hopefully it'll melt really quickly. Looks like I got about four ounces, which is what she took with Philip, so that's awesome. I think I'm gonna start putting bottles in the freezer in four ounce increments. Um, I was doing three and a half, but I think four might be better. Let me know what you guys do for that. That baby crying on your show is confusing me. Norma! Norma! I missed you! Already out. Mm -hmm. Guess what everyone's telling me today? What? That she looks just like me. I know. Like three people have so said it. vlog a few times there but as you saw we had a really tough night with her witching hour did not disappoint on that particular evening so I will close it out now I also wanted to tell you I had a big freak out at the end of that day I feel like I've been so positive and people have even commented about how positive I am in this stage of life and I I do feel really positive and I am enjoying myself, but I did have a little bit of a meltdown. My husband was doing taxes and he needed my help to look at like what we spent for daycare for James in 2018. I forgot what year it was. And I don't know what it was, but working on something like taxes just brought me down from my high of newborn bliss and just being on maternity leave and loving life it brought me down to the real world and I just started bawling about going back to work and leaving her and I'm like my maternity leave is almost halfway over and I just freaked out and <laughs> was like what is wrong I got a baby who woke up from her nap I think she's gonna want a nurse so I'll wrap it up but as I was saying with my first born I really freaked out like that like every day of my maternity leave I would think about going back to work and I would just be stressed and I haven't been like that this time but that day <laughs> I went into that negativity and I hated that but I am better now I just really want to enjoy the moment and I do have a lot more time to be home with her and I just know it's all gonna work out. So I think I've snapped out of it at least for now. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy these day in the lives with a newborn, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Have a wonderful day and whatever your plans are, I hope you get them done. Ooh.